for latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hi, I'm Ramon Dan, also advice from me and Mike. Today I'll be showing you how to read string your fiberglass poles in your tent. Uh, and that's a common problem you find with tents with fiberglass poles, it tends to sort of splinter. Uh, the reason is actually a design feature, so what you can actually do is put tape around them, make use of the end of the week or week end if you will, and then when you come back home you can sort of find replacements. So we sell uh, single sections or packs of five, and they're generic sort of sizes like so. So all you need to know is what diameter you need the pole to be, and what pole you've currently got. And they all tend to be sort of set length, so it's about 65 centimetres in length. All you necessarily do is just cut it down with a hacksaw. Uh, so I'll go through the process of how you string it, and how you sort of get this kit and make use of your own poles. Uh, so I've got a sample of a breakage in the pole here. As you can see there, that one's nice and torn apart as such. <laughs> so, the main thing to is to remove this pole and replace it with a new one. Now, the first method you want to start to do is spread the poles out in a nice long line. So, if I assemble the pole like so, spread it out, pop the broken one in, as you would normally. Now, in the end, to keep in the string that links all of the poles up, now all that is sort of elastic to keep it caught. The thing that's sort of keeping the poles together is a small knot at the end of here. So if you open the poles up completely like I have here, get, gather the tension from the excess, hold that tension, and it's a case of pushing at the base, so you get a knot. So that knot there is just stopping the fiberglass uh, shooting down the end of there. So what you can do is get a pair of scissors, cut the knot off, and what you can do once you've done that is actually unthread section by section off the pole. So that one comes off, and basically you get down until you get to your broken one, which is which is there for me. So that's it there. So if I remove that section, when you're being doing this, be careful not to uh, get your fingers caught on the excess fiberglass, glass, the shards, and such. So that's the, the replacement section of what. So like I said earlier, it's a case of knowing about what diameter the pole is. Uh, so this one is 12.7 mil, and they go into 11 mil, 9.5, and, um, and the 8s and 7s as well. So they're all on our website in the link below. And that get a good pole, and providing it's the correct diameter, it should fit in no problem like so. Um, one thing you will find is you're probably slightly will need to cut it down to a certain length. So like I said, this one's 75 centimetres long, and the one I've got here is 75 centimetres long. If you do need to cut it down to the length you require, all it takes is a hacksaw. So if you just cut it down, uh, sort of cut through there. The trick when you're sort of cutting the fiberglass pole is to cut it halfway through, rotate it round, and then cut it the other half. All that does it just means it doesn't splinter off at the end, and you get a nice clean cut. What you can also do if you really want to to finish the job off, Use a file and just file it off to give it a nice round edge. Yeah, again, it's a bit safer and a bit nicer, certainly when you put the poles up in the nice summer of day. So, once I've cut my pole, it's just a case of re spreading through. So, take away my damaged one like you have here. Now, in the pack I showed you earlier, which you get sort of five, you also get uh, some extra cords so you can re string again, and also one of these very handy little tools, a stringing tool. So it's basically a fine bit of wire with a hook on the end. And what it allows me to do is I can get the cord, pop it on the hook, and then rather than sort of trying to feed it, feed the cord through a very small little hole we have here, I can just put the wire in, put the wire in, thread it on like so, and it comes out the other end. And it's just a case of then pulling it out of the other end. 
to go for you and get the uh, book caught on your side, like so. So that falls through. Knock comes out. And then push that and reconnect it so you've got a nice straight line line again. And you just keep going section to section. So I've got another three sections to add on here. Because the ferrule, so the part which is here, the sort of black or silver bit on your pole, uh, the pole doesn't necessarily start to right here. So again, hand feeding through can be a little tricky. So it's a good idea to use the tool supplied with the kit that you can buy. Now in the kit you also do get an excess ferrule, so if you've got a point where you've got say two of these on one pole, you can have an additional one there you can put on. So like for example this one you've got one there and one there, and it's just a case of ripping that back through again. In terms of us, it's fairly painless to do. It just takes a bit of uh, a little bit of time and patience. And then finally, we've got the last section. So you can pull the cord out, give you some additional slack. One thing I always like to do if I can is pop over my foot. That way, it means you can have your hands free to do as you want to. Uh, you don't have to have an extra pair of hands and you do it on your own. So I'll we'll thread that last section on. Pull that through. Take the uh, metal wire off. The main thing is when you do this, is keep holding that end. If you don't keep holding that end, it's going to shoot back through because it's quite tight. So. There we go. Now, one thing you want to have is a fair amount of tension in the poles. That way, it means the poles can slosh around. When you can pack them up, they all sit quite neatly. Uh, so, I think the good thing is to pull it, make sure it's nice and tight off so it's all spread out, tie a knot in the end of there, and cut the rest off. Like I said, just a knot, and not a massive knot, just something that's big enough to stop it going down the poles in the end. That one. Let go of that, and that's it. And that's your pole there. And it's mostly repaired. You can pack it back up again, and you're pretty much set for camp. All the jobs are good. So, like I said, uh, the poles do come in a pack of five, or you do sound singly. So, you need to work out first of all what diameter the pole is. So, you want to say it's normally a seven and a half, or 8.9, 9.9. Uh, 11 or 12.7, so it's one of those that you can have a look in the link below and see what the pole is. And it's just a case of double checking uh, the length of the pole, so these are 65 centimetres long. Uh, normally, that you have to cut it down to set the shorter length, so with, with the hacksaw and doing what not housewise, but in essence, that's pretty much how you uh, go about it. It's not as hard as necessarily uh, everyone perceives.